Tribe, Tiana T. Yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with another reaction video. So today, we got to the stand Clarence. Clarence and watch all the videos. Clarence is fed up, like in his title. Clarence got something to say. So let's figure out what Clarence got to say. I mean, Leslie been talking her shit. Leslie made her case. Even though she didn't go as hard as she could have, Leslie made her case. Let's see what Clarence got to say about it. Um, without further ado, let's get straight up into the video. Um, I'm not about, to, I'm not even about to do the whole intro thing and none of that. Evidently, my ex had made a video or two videos or whatever, saying some things that really didn't uh, sit right with me. You know what I'm saying? Really, I'm not bothered. You know what I'm saying? But I just, I feel like my name is you. Clarence look hella bothered. Much, you know what I'm saying? And I don't say enough. You know what I'm saying? Some, most of the time, I'm, I'm thinking about CJ. I'm thinking about Legend. I'm thinking about Queen when I'm doing certain things, you know what I'm saying? I feel like me being nice and me being quiet sometimes can go, can be like taken wrong, you know what I'm saying? I think, and people could try to take advantage of it. Basically, I'm not about to react to a video, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's worth me reacting to, saying, but I'm about to make my own video. And I watched the videos and I made basically my points right here. You know somebody dead serious when they pull out a notebook of shit they got to address. <laughs> I know because I do it. When I'm mad, I'm like, let me write down a list so I forget nothing. This nigga's serious. He is bothered. Don't let him lie to you with his nice polished so manicured hands. Down. It's because I watched both videos and every time I thought something or thought something was a little off or I didn't agree with it, I wrote it down and I... Uh... His nails look so beautiful. Like, he take care of himself. Like, that is so great to see. Like, men out there, please get your hands buff. It is not gay. It looks phenomenal. Noted it, you know what I'm saying? So I, I want to touch, I want to make sure I touch on everything. You know what I'm saying? First, the first thing in the video, you said, well, my ex said you shouldn't have taken, that she shouldn't have taken me back and gave me second chance. Before we get even get into that, I really don't like when people get on here and try to play victim. Don't. Pause. Pause. In my first video, did I not call her out saying they be playing the victim? I said Pisces, but I did catch. I was like, they be playing the victim. You can't, you can't take everything that they say by ear, you know, by word of mouth. You gotta be like, hey, is this really like what's happening? I said she playing the victim. And y'all came to my next, and y'all know what she been through. I said she be playing the victim, though. Play victim. You feel me? If we gonna keep it a buck, and we gonna make videos saying the truth and the side, then tell all of it. Not just my wrongdoing. Because you up there looking, trying to look like a saint. You feel me? And I, I really didn't appreciate that. You said you shouldn't have taken me back and gave me second chances. I felt like in that time in my life where I was with you, I felt like we was both wrong, not not wrong, but we was both young, you know what I'm saying? And I felt like we were taking each other back on several occasions, not just you take me back. Don't make it seem like I'm out here. His facial expressions, Clarence is bothered. Clarence is mad. Clarence don't be doing all that usually. Clarence be like, mom is home straight to the point. Clarence mad. Look at his hands all up in the camera. Doing wow shit and you was taking me back putting up don't do that you know what i'm saying be truthful when you speak be truthful when you speak about me you know what i'm saying because i Put feel like i guarantee you not until this day and probably until this day you've probably been looking for someone just like me because i'm a good nigga shots fired and, that, and that's 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 period you feel me i'm a good nigga i'm a genuine hearted nigga i was raised by a good mom a good strong mom that instilled very, you know what I'm saying, like good qualities into me. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I'm a good nigga. Everybody that has met me has said, can vouch for me for that, that I'm a good nigga. Don't all niggas say they a good nigga? I'm just saying though. Claire, so far, as what we've seen, is a good nigga. Genuine, 
You know what I'm saying? I like I got a good head on my shoulders. Like I'm smart. I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? I can get to it. Like just put some respect on my name when you, when you talk about me. You know what I'm saying? And just keep it a buck. Cause I'm about to keep it a buck, even if it make me look bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep it a buck all the time. And you say you shouldn't have taken me back and gave me second chances. I just feel like that goes both ways. I'm not gonna get into that. Cause again, I'm not here to get into like I'm 20. I'm about to be 27 years old. I'm not about to get into that. I'm not about to get in into like this beef with my ex. And I'm in a happy relationship, and I have a family. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not even about to get in that. But that goes both ways. I feel like I've taken her back, and she has taken me back on several occasions. But I feel like we were very young. You know what I'm saying? But that's. To each his own, I really don't care. And I'm not gonna lie, being in a relationship with my ex has even brought, like I've had to, I've had to outgrow certain things. I've had to learn to stop doing certain things, like arguing. Do you know what I'm saying? When, like just, I'm so, I was so used to arguing. It's like I used to think there was something wrong if we, like we, like why is me and Queen not arguing? Like why are we not arguing? I Bruh. I think I said this in my part two video of reacting to Leslie. I said this. I said the problems that Leslie and him had ain't the problems that him and Queen having. And I said that. I said him dealing with Leslie helped him be a better man for Queen, helped him be more equipped for Queen. And I said that. And I don't know these people, man. Look, I'm a psychic. Look, I'm going to show y'all my spiritual page. I be, I be guessing stuff. Get back to the video. Like, is it that you don't care? Like, I mean, it's not, not. It's just like... We just grown about it, like, nigga, life, like, we living good, like, you know what I'm saying? There's no point to be arguing and shit, like, arguing is just pointless, and I hate arguing, but I was just so used to it, it was just, you know, it was just crazy honesty, you know what I'm saying? That's another Sorry, thing. it was toxic. One thing that I'm, 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 why I'm so honest, and Queen has said this multiple times. I'm very honest with Queen. I literally tell her everything. Do you know what I'm saying? Literally everything. Like the shit that you probably would look at, like look at it like, yo, y'all be tripping, but nigga, healthy relationships. Everything. Do you feel me? And that's not something I could do with my ex. You feel me? That's not something I feel like I could do because I was. See, with people that be playing the victim a lot, you gotta walk on eggshells with them, and you can tell by the way he ended it with her. He was talking about some, oh, I want to do things that I can't do when you're here. Or I just need some space. He had to say, I wanted space. That was him not knowing how to say, I'm, I don't want you no more. And I'm trying to like be single without hurting her feelings. Because like, it seemed like she was going to flip out regardless. And no, I'm not being biased. But I'm really taking the information as it is. And this nigga was walking on eggshells, which is why. He said it in that way. I want to do things that I can't do. Like, I mean, she should have known that was a breakup, but to hide it. I digress. If I'm going to a party with my man, I had to hide it and say it was like a fucking get together because then she's coming crazy saying, like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, there's going to be girls on you. If you go there, there's girls. You know there's going to be girls. Like, it's just always something. You feel me? Like, it just really messed a lot of things up and affection. I get, I get, I get blamed a lot for not being affectionate or not showing a lot of affection. But I never had a real relationship. Like I had a relationship before Leslie, but that was like my high school crush. It wasn't really like serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it wasn't a grown person relationship. Like I didn't have a car. I didn't have a place to stay. I didn't have like we didn't have space. Like you know what I'm saying? Like right now, it's confirming what we all knew. She got a different version of Clarence. She got broke Clarence. Even though Queen got broke Clarence too, but Queen was broke with Clarence and they both had a go and said, hey, we gonna, we gonna shoot back up. It seems as if Leslie coming out is still upset about how he's progressing and how he got left behind. And I'm not saying she mad as in like she bitter and she want him back, but with somebody who didn't get closure, it is always that, oh, he gonna come back. You know how people be like, oh, he gonna come back. It's only a matter of time he gonna come back. And it's been three years. It's kind of like, she might want him back. But we gonna let him continue. I didn't have a place to say either because I was in the basement. But like, it just wasn't a grown relationship. So I don't, I don't, I don't, it doesn't hold the same amount of. She did prepare him for Queen though. You can't deny that. Like she prepared him for Queen because she was all insecure. And she was doing all that like, uh, 
all that crazy stuff, just accusing him of everything, and Queen isn't, it helps him be more appreciative of Queen. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So basically, I feel like Leslie was my first relationship, you feel me? And it's not the most affectionate relationship I've been in, so I don't know. I don't know how it is to be like, you know, that affectionate, you know what I'm saying? Queen is the first girl I've met that's like, like very affectionate, you know what I'm saying? She likes to come over, sit on my lap, kiss me all on my face and, you know, tell me I'm handsome and uh, like, I love you. And then I got to say, I love you back, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, it's different. Queen is so cute. Saying? It's different, but yeah, so I just wasn't, you know what I'm saying? That's something I'm still learning. Just. You know, Queen is teaching me to like, you know, it's okay, you know. I've been like this for a minute, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I'm not, you know what I mean? I don't know why I'm like not emotional. And like, I, I am emotional, but like, I don't know why I'm not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just different, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I am, but I'm learning, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying, you got to because I want to be the best for Queen too, you know? The next thing I got to address is about your, your health problems, you know what I'm saying? And it's to Leslie, you said that I use... And I said, your, uh, like your health problem, and in like the the furrow thing or whatever, that I used it like maliciously or anything. And I, all honesty, I I had said like you like they should have been the T pages and all of them should be mindful because they don't know what it could be. And I said that that was impossible that we had an abortion because we never even had a kid because that would be impossible, you know what I'm saying? So I feel, I see, I see. Oh yeah, yeah, so we did, we did take that the wrong way. We did take it as I'm like, dang, can she have kids? But honestly, we didn't take it like that until Leslie said, she started tearing up and shit saying like, oh, my health problems and this and that. Like it could have simply meant like, that's impossible for her to have aborted something because I never got her pregnant or I never was in a situation with her when I was trying to get her pregnant or had any slip up. So that's clearly probably what that meant. And here we are talking about some, oh my gosh, she infertile. Just call her, that girl broken. So whoops on our part. I see where like people, some people are saying that like I should have never said that or anything. I could see where you say that, but at the same time, I never did it maliciously or an intent to hurt or to be like messy or anything like because that's just not me like i would never just intentionally do something like that like if you watch the video i was trying to tread around it like you know what i'm saying i didn't least really say it i didn't like just obnoxiously obnoxiously say it you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to make that clear you know what i'm saying like i really with being mind, trying to be mindful of this situation. And even though I don't owe nobody anything, I was still trying to be mindful of the situation. Just he right. He don't owe her a damn thing. This man in a whole other relationship got two kids and he got a whole different type of life. He don't owe her crap. But it is nice that he was being mindful. And I do 100% believe he was not trying to be malicious when he said that because... He could have aired her dirty laundry out. He could have threw her under the bus like a long time ago. So I do believe he was trying to be malicious because, yeah, he been so good on YouTube. He want her to get her own bag too, but here she is probably rattling his feathers because, yeah, she's probably saying some shit that he didn't want her to say. By the kindness of my heart, have I always been? And one thing that you said early, you said that you've been quiet for three years, you know what I'm saying? And I feel three like whole years. I have to then for remind you what you've done over these three years. Do you feel me? Where you haven't Let us know, Claire. And we still have never said anything. We've never let people bash you. We've never told people to bash you. We've never, like, we've never sent people to go say this and do that. Like, we've never done any of that. Since you want to try to play victim and say, like, you've been quiet and now it's time to say something you went live you went live or you've entertained queen's ex right correct correct me if i'm wrong you've made a diss track in the beginning of queen with your little cousins and sisters or whatever you've you have y'all seen this with some of your Come friends below. talking and making fun of queen 
and how you're battered and how you look better or in how you do this. I heard about that. She that does this, it's natural, like whatever the fuck y'all got going on. You've done that. Like you feel me, you haven't been quiet. Like I remember all that shit. shit. That shit is like come on. Like I'm pretty sure people are reading right through that. Just for speaking up Indeed. Just to just to show you how the just how the situation was and how she's making it seem is not true. When the diss track happened, I cut I put took up I picked up the phone and I called Leslie right in front of Queen and telling her like yo you bugging like now they about to bash you whatever like and on top of that I've actually asked Queen myself in the beginning he is so serious look at his face tweet, just tweet yo let unless he's that dramatic in person you know, and on a regular not to go bash go bash it or go and go flutter that flutter comments how you were doing or do some of the stuff that and trolling her and doing stuff like that i even asked queen to do that and she did it bro we in a like bro we was in a relationship somehow and like and you're, you're playing victim as if like i've never like i've always moved like how my mom taught me to I, here to be like oh you're my ex i fucking hate you 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 this the, like i'm not here to do any of that i'm just so i'm just hitting you with the facts that whole victim shit like you broke it like come on my nigga so that's that's proof that me and queen was actually just friends i'm talking about she's in the base do you feel me like you do a whole diss track i call her tell her you tripping like y'all what like that doesn't make no sense and ask queen to then post and not tell them not to bother you or nothing. Another thing I, I feel like I need to address. You said we used to watch Queen and, and, and her ex back in the day. Oh, hell yeah. This is the team we want to hear. This is what we want to know. Did you or did you not watch Queen back in the day with your ex? Because that's foul. Cap. Stop the cap. That bothered me a little bit because that's not true. I've never, Why would she I've say that? Always, like, I've never, you've been with me for, you said, four or five years, I think we were together. Have, I've never watched YouTube. I've never watched YouTube until I was about to start YouTube. And when, when I was about to start YouTube, you was never in my life. You get what I'm saying? I think you was in that first video. We was in the back of that first video. And after that, you've never been in. You've never been around any other video I've done. I'm like, die, I'm like, I'm like strategical with this shit. Like, I'm not like. So why would she say we used to watch Queen and Chris together and we liked them and it was funny? Like, did she make that up? Is she delusional? Or did, Cla did Clarence forget? Because women do be remembering more stuff than men in relationships, especially because if he was that frustrated, it's quite possible that memory could have slipped his mind, but he for sure knew who Queen was before she hit him up. So, hmm. Like, I know I don't have like a degree or any of that stuff, but like, I'm strategical with this stuff. When I want something, I'm like, I'm gonna get it, you feel me? And, and I wanted to do YouTube. So what did I start doing? I started watching YouTube. One, I already said this, one YouTuber that I watched was DDG. I've, I've seen him cop the i8. I'm like, what? Niggas cop the i8 with YouTube check? Like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I want to do it. God bless the day. I cop my own i8. I wanted to do a, a couple channel, possibly with my ex. You know what I'm saying? So I might have seen, nigga, I, I, when Queen DM'd me, I knew who she was. Nigga, we never watched YouTube together. Like that sort of like that don't like don't say like that's corny. That's wild corny. I had to make that straight. Like stop playing with me. He I'm mad. Like, like nigga, I was trying to get that bag. I was trying to work. That's not what. Clarence ain't never did no move. I'm trying to get that like, straight. Like, he ain't never did no videos. I'm gonna have him pull it up, but I'm gonna read it to y'all right now. We got receipts. All the way back to 2017, three years ago, we got receipts. Did Leslie post any receipts? Nope. So right now, Clarence's claim is looking way more believable, way more genuine than Leslie, because Leslie ain't got no proof. You're innocent until proven guilty. And so far, Clarence is bringing all the proof he got. Let's see. Let's see what they say, though. Boom. She said, what do you, yo, what do you do? I said, I do clothes and I model. How come you ask like that? Laugh out loud, question mark. Well, I was only asking because I see you everywhere, and I'm like, okay, who is this guy? 
sorry if I came off wrong. Nah, it's okay. Nah, it's okay. And yeah, things been getting crazy. But yeah, I do clothes mostly and I model here and there. Give me your size. I'm gonna give me your size and I'll send you some stuff. Again, hustler, I'm not trying to use nobody. I'm not I'm trying to get my clothes. And I'm not trying to think about no cheeks, no sex, no. That's nothing. what people do when they're trying, trying to, to get, get on. Bag. They you know what I'm promote to any everybody. I was trying to get to a bag. That's what you didn't realize. You thought it was about joints. And it was never about joints. I said, give me your size and I'll send you some stuff. I said, she said, what's been getting crazy? And you have your own line, question mark. And she said, okay, so far as my size, it all depends on how your clothing fits. I'll rock it for you, though. Queen was flirting. You can't say she was. And Queen was definitely throwing like a little flirt. And now I'll rock it for you, though. She doesn't put no emoji to like solidify. She's trying to like ease into it. She just put her big toe into the water before she put her whole foot in the water. She's trying to feel the temperature. Said social media has been getting crazy, and yes, yeah, at that time we getting lit, you feel me? And this is at the end of me messing with, with Leslie, you feel me? So I'm getting lit at the same time, like my life is changing way before Queen, my life was already changing. I'm talking about I'm going to a club for 30 minutes, no, no matter of fact, 45 minutes for six bands, and I'm going to fucking clubs in Philly for five bands. Seven is that band, how that works? Ten band. Like I'm talking about, I'm just an Instagram. I'm in the wrong business. I'm doing like my life is changing way before Queen. And she knows that. She Queen said, What's been getting crazy? And you have your own line. Okay, and then whatever. And I said social media has been the same for me, man. It gets super crazy, especially what's going on with me. But in shirt and then she said, But in shirts and hoodies small. I said, if you don't mind me asking, what do you do? You feel me? Pretty sure I've seen you before, too. You look familiar. What's going on with you? She said, I do YouTube and I was going viral a lot with the guy, my husband, who now is saying that he doesn't want to be with me anymore. So now everyone is asking what happened. And I'm not TMI, sure what queen. TMI. I've been dealing with embarrassment for a while. Now from him making me look stupid by talking to other girls, shaking my head. But I'll be good. I'm going to bounce back from this. Pray hard and I'll figure out what God wants for me. This shit is inspiring. Like I'm getting goosebumps. And this isn't, this isn't even having nothing to do with I'm just sharing this with y'all. Just so y'all know what happened. And that, like none of that goofy moment. Like this shit been genuine and real from the beginning. I said, sorry to hear that. Yep, that's all you have to do. Ain't nobody got more control than him, so just be patient. I'm talking about, when I say him, I'm talking about God. No one has control than him, so just be patient. Take all this as a lesson. You'll be just fine and continue to do your thing. I said, I'm about to start a YouTube. She said, that's what's up. What you going to be doing? I said, thinking about doing a vlog, maybe some challenge. She said, you should do pranks, man. I'm telling you, that's where the views are. You already got a big following on Instagram, so just transfer those over. And you get buku money. Like, oh, she's speaking his language, y'all. If y'all know what buku money is, buku money means hella fucking coins, as in like life changing coins. And I said, like, what? As in you need them coins. Money? Yeah, I know. That's what everyone's telling me to do. That's what I said. Still, no flirting, no nothing has ever. I've always kept it. These receipts is long and genuine. Oh, I want to marry you. I love you. None of that happened. We were genuine friends at first. So question one, are you in a relationship? Reason why I ask is because you can't prank. You can prank your girl. If not, then prank your moms or something. And then I say, yeah, I have someone. She's going to be mad, though. Is what? Is that what you do? And she said, yes, you should definitely start doing that. It, does, it don't matter. It's going to make y'all money. Now, I already know. So supportive already. And hoodies and tees and address. So right there, and that I'm like, I'm not even trying to entertain that really because I'm still like dealing with my ex. You feel me? So I'm even, I'm keeping it respectful all the time. You feel me? And then she said, "Small, hun, and I'm gonna get a PO box when I get back to Houston after a hurricane. A lot went downhill." I said, "You're from Houston?" And I said, "Oh man, how is everything?" Because she said she was in a hurricane or whatever. She said, I'm from Detroit, but moved to Houston seven months ago. My house didn't get destroyed, but when we escaped, we've been bouncing around ATL ever since. Okay, I'm glad. I said, okay, I'm glad. I'm sorry you're going through that. You will be in my prayers. She said, thanks. I said, no problem. Let me know when you have that info for me. She said, you in NY in New York? I said, yeah. She said, is it fun? What part? I said, Bronx. It's okay. And I said, it's okay. Nothing crazy. I've lived out here all, all my life, so I'm used to it. 
She said, man, I want to come. It seems fun and ghetto. <laughs> I said, very ghetto. I, she said, I like ghetto for some reason. I don't know. So I said, how come you haven't been out here? Everybody should go to NY at least once. She said, I don't know. My biggest fan base is there. Pause. I just think it's so funny how this is so faded. In my last video, I said their meat and their relationship was so faded the way it came together. Because first of all, he was starting to get big on Instagram. He was thinking about getting into YouTube. Magically, Queen Nyjah, a big YouTube star at the time, DM'd him. How magical. And then she's like, oh, my biggest fan base is from New York. Something that she can kind of like talk to him about. He's like, yeah, I mean, I'm from New York, you know, like this is my town, like my city nice and all that. Like, this is so faded. Like, like he said, the man upstairs is in charge because like, you, <laughs> it was Leslie's time to go. I'm sorry, this is so faded. There's no why I haven't went yet because I'll be so busy, but I'm coming soon. I might be coming by myself this time if things don't work out, but if they do, we'll both come only so. Say, I might be coming by myself this time if things don't work out, but if they do, we'll both come. Talking about her and her and only so much a woman could take. Queen is getting real personal, real fast, just so open. But I mean, Queen has always been a, a very open and honest woman that we love on YouTube. Like, she don't care. If she's looking in the mix, she'll still come on YouTube. If she got gas, she will let it. Queen always been open and honest, so I can definitely see how their relationship is so open and honest and making him comfortable. It's something he never had before because he's walking on eggshells, but TMI, goddamn Queen. This is my response. I said, I understand. What would you guys do? Y'all should link me. We could work or do something, but my prayers go out to ya too. Thanks. You know who he is, right? I said, I mean, I see him. I said, I mean, I see him on your page. She said, well, I thought I deleted him, LMAO, because he deleted me, so, and I'm not about to be looking dumb as hell. I said, you're not going to look stupid. Ain't nothing with showing you care. The reason why I'm saying these things is because I'm going through the same thing with a girl. My ex, and I said, another connecting and she factor. Said, Not if you don't show it, and I'll hear the screenshot of the conversation with other girls. I never wrote back. Then she said, I know you're really pissed the fuck off because I would too. I go through the same thing and we get it. Y'all are handsome, but y'all just be asking for it and doing it purposely. I don't think fine niggas meant to be in relationships. Laugh or laugh. Maybe if you put her on your page, it would make it better. I said, Nah, I feel you. I'm just like my stuff prior to being. But it will come out sooner or later. The way Queen was flirting. I don't think fine niggas supposed to be in relationships. Calling him fine already. Queen. Queen was flirting a long time ago. The media was. She said, boy, show her off. She would love you so much. This is coming from Queen. She's saying, boy, show her off. She would love you so much more. I promise. Don't hide her. It makes women feel unimportant. I said. They just connected know, so, so intensely. Than that, but I feel you. Then. Everything went missing, you know what I'm saying? She went missing, and we then, you know what I'm saying? Then she hits me up randomly, you know what I'm saying? Randomly. This is what she said. I posted a, a picture or something like that, and she said, but why the socks and slippers? I said, look who it is. I was working out, then I hopped in the shower. I was in the middle of the dress. She said, that's funny. This is after I did my smash or pass. So Them nails look funny. so good. But she know what else is funny. Frank's Red Hot. I said, yo, chill. Ella Mayo, you a clown. You thought that was funny? She said, yes, it was, and I was also mean compared to Sweet Heat. I said, I was not being mean. You know I'm a kind person, love. You the mean one. You want to know why? I said, nah, B. And she said, nah, B. And how? I said, stop making me laugh, Queen. And she, I said, and because you unfollowed me and blocked me, at this time, I am 100% single man right here. You know what I'm saying? I am a single man right here. I can tell that. Oh, that man's going to stop making me laugh, Queen, because he went laughing that hard before. He wasn't doing all that. He wasn't like taking the bait before. Now he all like, hey, stop making me laugh. It's kind of like, oh, I'm making you laugh. You think I'm funny? Like, they flirting now. And he's single. He said he was single. And shit, from judging from the other videos, he told Leslie he's a single man by saying, I can't do shit I want to do when you're here. So I need you out because I'm trying to need a single bachelor out here. Like when she hit me back up, so November 11th. So that was the last time we spoke. It was September 20th or September 6th. One of them, like, you know what I'm saying? Look, nah, be not. Stop making me laugh, Queen. And I said, and because you unfollowed me and blocked me. 
And she said, ain't that what you're in New York to say? Nah, be saying nah. And no, I don't, I didn't laugh at all. Man's was, she said, man's was tripping. Ain't think you noticed that. I said, certain places I don't say be, I say son sometimes. I said, I didn't even do nothing, or I didn't even flirt or anything. I said, yes, I forgot how I noticed. They is flirting heavily, but trying to play it cool. This is so, y'all are so cute. This could be butterfly. It's like that little puppy love stage that, uh, that, oh, I didn't think you noticed though. And he was like, yeah, I forgot how I noticed, you know, like, you know, I, I ain't mean to peep it that much, but, you know, I, I did catch that. I did kind of hurt my feelings, but, you know, you talk to me now. They so, they so cute. He said, I know, but he got mad because before I even followed you, I told him you were my Instagram crush. So he got mad, but he was doing a bunch of stuff to me. So with the little emoji, she said, but it's cool. I told him that too. There was no flurry. And he still said, nah, B. I said, F. So y'all gonna tell me this ain't faded? Y'all gonna tell me that they weren't meant to be together when he was trying to become a YouTuber. He already become a pop and Queen already noticed him. He noticed Queen. And she was already crushing on him before he like knew about what he could do on YouTube, how he can get there. And before she even could like share her platform, like <laughs> this is faded. Cause look, of all the men in the world, how does Clarence pop up on your TL to make you crush? And out of all the professions in the world, how does Clarence decide, hey, I wanna start a YouTube. I wanna do that. I wanna get into that and Queen happens to be a YouTuber. Y'all. I said, I feel him. I'm thinking we about to be cool, maybe do some videos, send y'all some stuff. Then I'm blocked. I'm like, that had to be him. But I understand I can't even be mad. You feel me? Because niggas be intimidated by me. I'm not going to lie. Niggas be thinking I'm going to hit their joint. I'm not even like that. You feel me? But Queen said, meanwhile, I've been getting embarrassed like a motherfucker, though. It's all good, but we cool. So they're still going through things. Queen needed somebody to talk to because damn girl, you done told him a lot. I brought that whole time. I said, how y'all doing? I see y'all back together because then she unblocked me. So I'm allowed, I'm, I can see her pictures, you feel me? And I said, yeah, we cool, but I'm still mad, a little mad at you. So I'm saying I'm cool with her. She said, I mean, it's complicated. I keep catching him talking to people and it'd be on the internet too, but don't be mad at me. And then she said, but don't be mad at me, please. I don't I said, like you, we mad at me, girl. Don't be mad at me. And, and she said, yes, man, it's so embarrassing. Everyone say I deserve better, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess God matures slower. I said, and I'll try not to be mad. We will see. And I said, we do mature slower. I can't even lie. So I'm going, I'm standing up for this nigga. You feel me? That's how much of a, like, I'm a, I'm a real one. I've never put niggas down, bro. I've never put niggas down no matter what or who they are, you feel me? Like, I've never done that, you feel me? How have niggas done to me? She said, we will see, and I know y'all do shake him up, but if he keeps doing it, I'm gonna keep staying. I'm gonna give him a taste of his own medicine. I'm gonna text Lorenzo, and then you gonna be crying. Claire is Lorenzo. She was plotting a long time ago. That was her scapegoat, and the shit worked out magically, because she had a hit, and then she got a fine ass nigga to, like, go like, flop in the wind with, and goddamn. That's what he, she said, and this song didn't even come out yet. She said, we will see, and I know y'all do shake my head, but if he keeps doing it, and I keep staying, I'm gonna give him a taste of his own medicine. But I'm She told him so much. Like she really trying to reel him in, let him know, like, yeah, hey, I'm it. not really good. Okay, hit me later. She really giving a lot of information. She's really trying to reel him in, being like, hey, I'm not really in a good place. So if you like me, if you got any type of like feelings for me or any type of like eye for me like i'm letting you know like it it's a small crevice that's open and if you just like slide in i can make more room and it's just like goddamn and she said i will friends very high and i said i wasn't even the one to say that let's just clear that up because that was mine i've never said that and she said but you did say i don't know about sweet heat what makes me not sweet heat, but oh well talk to you later i said you heat queen it might have been the pics they were showing me okay just hit me. I want. I don't want want to get you in trouble. You fuck. She should be pretty in bad pictures. She should be pretty in like okay pictures. She should be pretty in bomb pictures when she's all glammed up. Like Clarence, if you want feeling her, 
at first, you just weren't feeling her at first. And that's just kind of trifling. And I know you can grow to love someone, but it's kind of like a, I don't know, but that'll, have, that'll raise a little red flag for me. I've been like, so you didn't think I was cute in my little pictures? Because I posted it, so obviously I thought I was cute in it, and you don't think I'm cute? How dare you? Like, I don't want her to get blocked again. Like, I'm not even on that kind of time. And then add me back on Snap. We add each other back on Snap and, and all of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's basically. And it what y'all was talking about on Snapchat, though? Y'all know we ain't got no uh, receipts for that one, but what y'all was talking about on the Snapchat? Therefore, we started flirting and shit. You feel me? What's that? Obviously, they have a spicy conversation because now she like, Snap me back, sleepy head. And calling him daddy, he's sending like little little smirk faces back. Like, what happened on Snapchat, y'all? Don't leave us out on all the tea. You dropping all these receipts? Drop them. Drop the uh, tea on that. The daddy, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? What's up? What's up? You know, that's just that. That's just to clarify. Daddy. That part right. He hit it definitely. Sorry, I have to do that. So the end of part two, you said Queen Queen DMing me made like DMing me made sense the way our relationship was going at the end, right? Um, there's a there's a, a particular, like I don't remember everything because it was such a long time ago, but there was a particular moment where I could think about that is proof that like what you're making it seem like you know and I know that we were done. Like we were done. We were arguing, we were doing that, you were doing your thing, you, you feel me? Like we had a, I think we came back from a break, you know what I'm saying? Some things we both shared that like we did while we were on the break. We both didn't like that, you know what I'm saying? So we broke like we was pretty much over. You feel me? And it was an incident that I could show you. On Halloween, you walked in in my house and to get your boots or sneakers or whatever you left, you whatever you had stuff still here, you know what I'm saying? I had all your stuff packed in the closet and you walked in and I was shocked to even see you. We didn't even say a word to each other. You feel me? My mom came in. She 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 was there. She walked, you walked right in to get the stuff and walked right out. We didn't even say bye. You were going to a Halloween party. You were dressed in a costume or whatever and you left. You feel me? That said a lot for our relationship to be like, oh, that's, it says a lot. It makes sense. Like, don't say that. You feel me? You know what it was. We weren't together and it wasn't even like that. You feel me? For you to walk in the house and I didn't even... For me to be shocked and us not even say anything to each other, nigga, that says a lot. Speak volumes. I'm not gonna lie. One thing I peeped about, you know what I'm saying, and this is my advice to my younger generation, you know what I'm saying? Just stay on your bag, chase. You know what I'm saying? Chase the bag, you feel me? One thing I noticed is like, you feel me, in the beginning of our relationship, and there were certain points in my relate in our relationship that like, like I really went through it. You feel me? Like, I really went through it, and I really tried hard to contact you. I remember, like, not, and not to, like, because this is, the, like, I'm over this, but, like, I remember really trying to contact you and just can't get in touch, you feel me? And I and, and I noticed, like, the litter that I got, like, not the litter, but, like, there was a difference between breakups, you feel me? Like, and, like, why at the end is, like, you're heartbroken and all of that, like, when you, there, there are times that you clearly broke up with me and you said you don't want to be with me. And you want to do this, and you want to go, all right, and you end up right back. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like, it's just a difference, you feel me? And it's like, you're, you're playing this hurt card, and I just don't really, I don't really uh, agree with it. You know what I'm saying? I think, I feel like our goals, was, we had two different goals at the at that time. You feel me? I, I can believe it. To be successful, and I feel like your goal was to be happily in love. You feel me? And that just wasn't the kind of time I was on. I did... But I feel like I, like not taking anything we had away, you feel me? But it just, like, that's just my, my like, I was trying to be successful, you feel me? And I, I expressed that to you many times. I got to work hard, you know what I'm saying? I got I to gotta start doing things. I, gotta, I can't be cr trapped up in this, in, this, in this basement with you. I can't be, like, just, just focus on the joints. I can't be, you feel me? Like, I was trying to really get my shit together. Sounds valid. I got kicked out of school. I had to figure it out. So you kind of made it seem like you didn't want to hold me back and you were saying all that, but that was the main, that was one of the main problems that I had with you, you feel me? And that was, that was one of the things that I fell in love with about Queen, is that she never, Ooh. like, she never, like, even though she has the spotlight, don't, she's a mega superstar, 
You feel me? Even though she has the spotlight, whatever, she was never like, like she never wanted to hold me back. Like, you know, she wanted me to shine. She never said, oh, I got too many followers and, and, and I ain't gonna record him. I ain't gonna do a video with him because I got nothing too big. Like, she never did any of that. You know what I'm saying? She never held me back. She always wanted me to get Oh, it's getting personal. I'm gonna jump. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go through all the DMs, but she told me she, like, the one of the first things she said was, nigga, what car? Like, what car? What car do you like? I said, I would eat. And she said, nigga, start your YouTube channel. You get that. Simple. Like, it was that simple. Like, you feel me? Like, I do remember Queen first video. Like, one of her earlier videos when she was just like super into Clarence. She was like, I just want him to be successful. She was like, even we like don't like work out or anything. Like, she said, I really want him to be successful, like, so bad. Like, I really want him to like, get everything he wants out of life. Queen genuinely, genuinely meant that. And Queen really wanted this man to be successful. Like, she really had a good heart. And I, I remember watching that a long time ago. And I was just like, damn. Damn, she a good one. And I was like, Jesus. Like, she really, she really cared. Like, she really don't want nothing in return. Like, Queen is that kind of person. Like, she was like, yeah, I just want him to be successful. And even if we don't work out or nothing, like, you know, I just really want him to be happy. Even if we don't never speak again, I just really want him to be happy. I was just like, whoa. It's a lot of love. And I, I never got that vibe or energy from it, from any like yes, you feel me? So that like that that just like that's one of the things that I, I fell in love with her about, you feel me? Queen just is not is not a lot of women like her. And then you said there was someone I think it was said that that it was business. Yeah, that like I said it was business. And you're damn right I said it was business. Do you hear, do you see those DMs? He getting a little sassy. Damn right I said it's business. It's like, damn. I mean, the proof is in the receipts that Clarence got and Leslie don't got. Uh, it was definitely just business. He was not flirting. Queen was flirting. But to his defense, he was not flirting. And I can definitely see him throwing them shirts down her throat saying, hey, I got this, I got merch, I got anything, just give me up there. Like, he really was on that. And she was flirting, but still. So it was business because I wasn't on that kind of time. You feel me? There's all kind of girls in my DMs. And I, I never even went into that. Like, nigga, Queen's not the only celebrity, celebrity that was in my DMs. Period. The only female celebrity. There was multiple. You feel me? So it's like, I'm not even, I wasn't even on that kind of time. I'm really just trying to work and get my clothes into the right people. Nigga, in my eyes, I'm like, nigga, she got her husband. I'm chilling off that, nigga. I'm good off that. You feel me? I'm not even, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to form a date. You know, quite potentially, too, because he knew she had a husband on that smashing pass. He probably said that, too, because he's like, hey, I know she got a husband. You know, she already taken. I'm not really on that. I'm just going to say this. And also, because I know her from, like, my DMs a little bit, I'm not going to really, like, be down her throat because he was still playing it cool but him keeping up conversation you can see there's a little something there kind of like getting there because queen was letting him know like hey we not good in my relationship so if i break up we don't make it work you know like i'm about to be available you feel me like I, it was just business for me it was genuinely just business and it's like it's my fault <laughs> like shit happens like i'm damn she fell in love with me, and I fell in love with her. You know, that's called fate, my nigga. Do you want people to do like that? That's what happened. <laughs> like, I'm just like that first, it was definitely just business. I thought it was gonna be just business too. You think I expected this? I didn't expect this. I didn't expect to fall in love with her. I didn't. I didn't expect her to fall in love with me. I'm pretty sure she didn't either. All right, yeah. Hey, let me close the video out right there because it's already a long ass video because Clarence had them long ass receipts, long but needed. But still, let me just go ahead and chime in. I feel like at this point in the video, we're getting the clarity that it was just business. He is confirming his stance that it was just business. And also, I feel bad that Leslie had to like see this because basically he started talking about like, hey, I fell in love with her, she fell in love with me. And Sorry it had to be like that, but also, it got real personal. Y'all seen that one portion, he was all like, um, this is what she did, and this is why I didn't work out with you. Like, we just wasn't on the same path. I feel like, if anything out this experience of her taking three years to speak out, 
you could tell that she never got the closure she needed of how she thought they were still in a relationship and he told her that they weren't and she should have known that. But I feel like if anything she got out of this video and out of this whole experience so far is she got the closure she so desperately needed. I'm not saying she desperately needed as far as like she's a desperate woman. I'm saying, you know, a lot of people go through relationships and they don't get closure. Shit, most of my bad relationships, damn near all of them. I didn't get the closure I needed. I didn't get the why I wasn't good enough kind of explanation. I didn't get the, oh, it wasn't you, it was me type of explanation. Like, I really didn't get that. And the fact that she gets to get this is a win, in my opinion, because it wasn't the fact that she got left because Queen had more money than her and more clout than her. She really simply got left because she left and she was not being the person that Clarence needed. She was not being the person that Clarence was becoming. You know, people change relationships. We know that. But where Clarence was going and trying to progress, she was not trying to progress too. She was scared. She was like, I'm happy where I am. I'm trying to bring him back to where she was and where and what she knew of him. And he was trying to be like, I'm trying to go here. I want to bring you with me, but it like he ain't trying to bring come with me. So, of course, he's going to go off in his own way. But to me, from... How I felt in the first two videos she she uh posted, I felt like he let her know clearly that this ain't what he want. He let her know clearly that you ain't what I want. And if she didn't know it then, she has clear cut communication on he don't want you no more. And you know how it is when we in relationships. Like girls, we when we in relationships, we be like, oh, he'll be back. He gonna come back because it seems like they always come back. So she thought it was just like a phase, like he'll come back soon. And he went off and got a whole nother girl pregnant, got successful, got everything he wanted. Everything that she that he said he wanted, he was getting. And she kind of felt like boo boo the fool. I mean, I would, but she getting closure. And I feel like this is the best video that she ever could get. This is the best video I've seen on YouTube so far. I mean, honestly, like I hate that. She had to force his hand, and you can see that he frustrated. You can see that he's so mad that he had to put it like this, because you can see she's bringing him back to the, the point that he didn't want to be in, the walking on eggshells, the trying to watch his words. Because I can see with Queen how he'd be like, he'd be like, oh, trying to like prepare his words before he speak them, just instead of just flowing naturally. I can see where that comes from if he's saying like she played the victim a lot. Like I always had to defend myself every step of the way, so. Leslie, you getting closure, girl. Um, it's also helped you build a platform at this time. So at this point in time where I am in the video, I feel like take your YouTube clout right now that you're getting and move on. Because any little ounce of hope that you had before of him coming back and him coming to his senses, I felt like he did that and let you know like that ain't what's happening here. And that's the best thing that you could ever get. You got peace and you got clarity. But most importantly, you got closure. And that's a beautiful thing. So I'm going to end the video right here. Y'all catch me on part two when I wrap this video up and finish because I don't want this video so long. If you like what I've said so far, you like my vibe, you like my energy, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and comment. Let's talk about this. Like the video and see you on part two.